Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and today I am in Warhammer Vermintide. A pretty straightforward name, actually, for this game. It's a tide of vermin sweeping over this fair city or town. Uh, this is a relatively new game that just about came out, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. You could have been playing it a bit earlier in the beta if you pre-ordered it, I actually was. It was a lot of fun there, even though it only had three maps. Now the game has expanded to have one way or another. This, this many maps. Tonight. Each one of these is a map, except for that one right up there, which is that any button. And each of these have their own difficulty curves. Before we go into this more, let's go ahead and just talk about what this game is. And it's a first-person melee slash shooter. And as you progress through different missions, this room gets more and more lit up, as well as unlocks other things. So you'll start out when you first get into this game with just this map here to go ahead and select missions. You'll then get your inventory thing here, because at the end of every mission, if you level up, you'll get a new gray item usually, or white item, I guess. And there'll be a dice roll, which I'll show you guys in a bit, which will give you more loot, depending on, well how good your dice roll goes, as well as some dice if you pick up magical dice or bring tomes that you find throughout the mission to the end of the game, it'll give you better stuff. You can see like this here, this is a new item. The better the item, the different the color obviously. So it goes from white, green, blue, and then it actually doesn't have purple in this game, but it does have orange. And you can see that we got these little things on the side of them here. That's because you can actually upgrade these. So this is your forge. You'll get this after a certain mission. You go ahead and access this. This is an early on mission. And you have these tabs at the top here. So you can fuse together, like if you fuse together a bunch of white items. Like we can't fuse together a green and that. You have to fuse together all of the same color. And if you fuse together like all long swords, you'll get a new long sword. And it'll go from green, if you're putting all green in there, up to blue. So it actually upgrades it. So if you have a surplus of a certain color, you can go ahead and upgrade that. As I was talking about, they do have these little things here, these bonuses. So this makes this thing, what is it? Movement speed while aiming this weapon is increased by 50%. So if you're holding a right click to aim it down sides, it'll be 50% faster. But you can see it's locked right now. You have to actually go to the upgrade tab here, click and drag it in there, and click on this, and then it'll say what you need to upgrade it. These are your resources at the bottom. Now, unfortunately, you don't find these in the world while playing, but you can get them by going to the salvage section right here, taking your weapon, clicking and dragging it in here. It destroys your weapon, but you can see that gave me two green. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Green items give you green, white gives you white, and blue gives you blue. Usually you'll get, well, two to three, or depending on that, sometimes you just get one for the rare ones. Pretty nifty stuff. For classes, we do have a few of those. We got our hero select right here. You got your witch guy, or not witch guy, what is it? Witch hunter. He hunts magi, I guess. I don't know if I understand all the Warhammer lore, but I'm slowly getting into it just because of how amazing this game is. His main stuff, if we go ahead and look at him, it should have spawned me in here. There we go. Uh, has it reloaded the room? No. By the way, the room you start in whenever you spawn, it's always a little bit different depending on your character. So this is actually still the archer's room. Unfortunately, it didn't load in with the proper room for this guy. But you can see he's got his double guns. Which are pretty damn nifty. And then he's got his rapier. What the? What the? What? Ah, ah. And it's a pretty amazing melee system too. I'll get more into that in a minute. What else? Other characters we got? Uh, let's just go ahead to, I believe it is just escape. Yeah, hero select. We got our dwarf, which you can load out with a bunch of different stuff. He can have a crossbow as his secondary or a cannon, like a hand cannon, and you can bid a bunch of different guns for him. You got your fire mage here, or bright wizard, uh, who can fire flames out of this and that. She's got her own mechanics. I haven't really messed around with her, I'm not going to lie. You got your soldier here. Pretty nifty dude. He's got his big old sword, or he can have a sword and shield, as well as crossbows and guns, I believe. Pretty cool stuff. I mainly like to play as this chickie. She is the way watcher. She's amazing, though. Please load. There we go. Uh, this is her room, by the way. She, I love the, that there's a lot of, um, I don't want to say style, but also just character that goes into the rooms. Like She's completely done away with the table and just tossed it up to keep barricading the windows to keep the vermin outside. She's got her nice little bed that she just sleeps on the floor, and she's completely just toasted the actual bed and uses it as a table now. It's it's great. And she's, she's even shooting at stuff. I can't quite read that, unfortunately. Nifty stuff, though. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a mission now. I think I've shown you pretty much everything here. This is just an ammo thing, and this is just so you can go ahead and switch out your gear. Uh, so if I want to use, like, a different sword, I can click and drag it in there. But I'm pretty damn happy with the sword we got right now. I got a pretty nice loadout. You also got trinkets. You unlock more slots. Like, you can have three trinket slots, 
and you unlock them as you level up. And it's not character specific, it's a whole account level up. So let's go ahead and hop into a game. I've turned to Which one of these do I like? For a little help, and they, in turn, all of a sudden, the water's not fit to drink. Bloody rat men. I quite like the garden more. We're going to do hard difficulty. We're not going to be on private, so we might get some randoms in here. Let's do play. The game is similar to Left 4 Dead in a lot of ways, but also I think it's different enough to feel like you're not just playing a Left 4 Dead clone. There's a few aspects of it which are infuriating, but I'll point those out as we run into them because I'm sure we will. It's searching for game right now. It's not finding anyone. I'm just going to do F2 to say that I'll host, and it's starting hosting. Now it's searching for more players. I can just say F2 again to say, hey, I'm ready, and we'll just start. Other people can join at any point in the game. If they don't have to join at the start, so you can do stuff like this without having to worry too much. We are on hard difficulty, Curse so the rat men. Plague's gotten into the wells, and I hardly need tell you how serious that is. Get yourselves to Morse Field, which seems to be the source. Get out there and rid us of the poison. So there we go. You also get a little story blurb, and then you get this panning camera thing. It's rather unfortunate though that this panning camera, which should be starting any second now. Yep, there we go. You can't skip it. Unfortunate. It gets a little old if you fab to fail a few times. You're like, okay, yes, we get it. We get it. Yeah, okay. It's a pan on every level. It's like Left 4 Dead, as I said. It has a lot of the similar mechanics as Left 4 Dead as well. You got your health potions that you can take. You got potions that you can just take for strength or, sta or speed, which lasts a little bit of time. At the beginning of every map, you get your inventory thing just in case you need to switch out your inventory. Out. Lumberfoot's brew. Oh, for desperate times only. So there you go. There's a there's a potion you can find. You look around, you'll find stuff like that. So we just found a potion. I'm not going to keep looking this whole place. We're going to just do this mission without too little exploration. There's a few the tomes and stuff we'll look for too. Feeble things. I will risk the crypt, even if you will not. And we can beat those down, but I'm not the fastest at beat, breaking those down. So I'm just going to go around. The NPCs will fight their way through it. There you go. <laughs> Watch where you tread. And rat people. These are your main enemies in the game. They're all rat people, actually. I'm not sure I've even seen anything that isn't a rat at this point. Uh, ah! In this level, I was kind of hoping we'd run into some... Oh, what do you call them? Undead or something of that sort? Because it just feels like there should be undead here. But no such luck with that. My bow is pretty decent, by the way. That's why I'm able to one-shot shoot, one shot these things. Use a chest. You pop these open. Look at that. I got arrows in here to replenish my arrow supply. Uh, the loot is character... Or is... um. It's not instant, so everyone has to share. So if I take that, other people can't get the ammo. So keep that in mind when you're playing. If somebody you see somebody pew-pewing a lot with their guns or something, or with a crossbow or just bow... Try not to be the one stealing the ammo if you're not really using a gun or weapon, ranged it's weapon. A That's a trap! When all I Admiral Akbar on us, Missy. Pretty nifty. So now that they're probably going to be getting close to me any second now, in a second I'm going to switch from ranged attacks to melee. And this is where a lot of people believe this game shines, and I actually have to agree. It's the best melee I've ever had in any game. I mean, you look at Warframe, and Warframe's fun, and... It's sort of, you know, bouncing everywhere, but I don't know, at the same time, Warframe's melee got kind of ruined when they removed the uh, charge attacks. They got the super duper swish swish speed, but, you know, your aim isn't that important to where you're swinging it seems half the time, and you know, ah! and blocking is god awful and pointless. But this, you might have seen there, I blocked, I have a little shields that pop up at the center bottom of the screen there. That allows me to easily just go ahead and I can get take like three hits and still be fine, basically. Oh, and someone's shooting over here. Fantastic. And you can see there, I can also just hold down the key and do a charge attack. And that'll wipe people out. Your weapons will also have a charge damage and a standard damage so you can see which is better. They'll also have different speeds. It's pretty damn awesome. So you can hear that whispering. That means there's something terrible about it right now. Oh god, it's one of that guy. So just like the hunters in Left 4 Dead, uh, rather, unfortunately, those guys exist, and they love to hop... What the heck is he doing? Ah, god dang it. They love to hop all over you and do damage to you. Um, I kind of hate him. <laughs> I'm all right with that guy for the most part, but I do wish that if you blocked right before he hit you... Oh, so sweet. We got another person in here. They were smarter than I, and they actually marked it. No! So somehow we stunned it there before it got us. 
I find um, those guys, I'm kind of alright with them just leaping on top of you. What I really hate are some other guys. This is a poison guy, by the way. He's awesome. He's, you can just kill him! There we go. If you shoot an arrow and it hits his like big gas tank, he'll run at you and explode and try to poison you all. He also throws poisonous globules at you from range. Um, as I said, there's another guy called, like, I believe the Pack Master. He's a bit of a troublemaker where he will... Man, a Blight Mage. Or Bright Mage, or whatever you call it. Oh, this is a loot guy. If you kill him, he usually drops, like, a dice and some other good stuff. Yay! See, there's a big dice right there. You want to see it for a second? Uh, that is a tank. I mean, Ogre. Um, they're like a tank. This is probably the most Left 4 Dead thing in the whole game. I kind of hate it. But once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. It's much better than fighting a tank in Left 4 Dead 2. Because if you block, you can actually avoid all the damage from him for the most part. God dang it. I just took damage there. There. So you see that? I only took minimal damage. And you can see the shields I have. They've gone away! Oh my god, I need those shields back. You can also, if you're pressing a directional key besides forward and you press spacebar, you'll do like a little dodge there. As soon as you dodge to the side, I dodge back, I dodge back, I dodge back, I dodge right. Pretty nifty stuff. Dodge right. Woo! It's nice. It's really great. I absolutely adore the movement system in this game. It does have the sort of uh, source engine where if you jump in the air, you can change your direction by pressing directional keys and where you're aiming. You know, it's not realistic, but it is fun nonetheless. And of course, I'm just going all to town with this guy. And there we go. You see, I blocked there. It's amazing. It's fantastic. You know, it's one of those things that I hate in Warframe is the idea that charge attacks are pretty much war um, charge attacks are gone, so there goes that, you know, feeling of actually controlling your weapon. It's this stupid combo thing. And then with this, you know, in this game, sure, there's a bit of a combo. You just hit it three times, the animation will sometimes change. You get a stabby stab, which I kind of wish you could control when it does the stabby stab. But at least in this, you get your charge attacks and then your blocks. And the fact that you, you know, instantly, like, if you're in the middle of a charge attack, like, huh, oh god! You know, it's like the block will usually come up, like, super quick. And here's a health pack, just like Left 4 Dead. You got health packs. So, oh god, that could have hurt me. I got, now I got a potion here. Whoop -de -doodle -dandy. I drink this, it'll make me go faster for a little bit of time. And I got a bandage health pack thing, which I hold this and will heal me, or I can right click and heal other people. Uh, this guy right here that just got wasted by our fiery friend was a, ah! See that? He breaks like all your block. He's an armored guy, so if I just do like standard slow or standard quick attacks to him like these, like swish swish, it won't do any damage to him with my weapon. Uh, usually with most weapons, you'll have to do like a charge attack to take them out. By the way, this thing here is like the thing that I apparently got in my inventory in my number five slot. It's a bomb! They have bombs in this game, which are pretty damn nifty. Also, I'm hearing a grattling gun, which is a type of enemy that shoots lots of bullets at you! And what he does, he's got a really cool, the, like the mechanic for killing him, is actually pretty damn awesome. Did you see that? I blocked there. Even though I was like mid-swing and stuff, I saw that he was about to hit me, so I blocked and he blocked. It's fantastic. God dang! Thank God. <laughs> Group effort. Uh, what he does though, is he targets one guy and then for, you know, five to ten seconds, he just shoots at that one person and completely ignores everyone else. So if that one person runs behind a wall, he'll still keep shooting at them, which you know, might seem stupid, but it's actually a very fun game mechanic because it means like even melee people can kill him because he'll be busy aiming at, you know, whoever's hiding somewhere and you can just walk right up to him basically as long as you're not standing in front of him. Because if you're standing in front of him, he'll of course be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to shoot you as you go. Um, I'm going to go healing... No. Ah. And you can see, uh, sometimes the, char the NPC characters will actually yell at you and be like, Stop jumping about! But honestly, I love jumping about in this game. I love it. It's great. This game is just... It's, it's probably going to replace Warframe as like my go-to. I want to just play something fun game. Also, okay, cool. Marcus Krubert, the NPC, has picked up a tome. It's usually on this map, if you don't know, it's hidden over here by the statue. It just sits right, right there on the floor. If you finish the mission with those, it basically gives you a special dice and some more XP. By the way, my weapon... If, oh, see that poison goop that I was standing in? That is from one of those Globadier dudes. You know, the guys with those big gas tank things on their backs. There he is. Ah, he's at and I hit the metal bars. It's awesome that you can actually hit those metal bars. By the way, it might seem silly, but you can do that. Also, by the way, you might have noticed there, I was blocking and left-clicking. So if you right-click the block and then left-click, you'll actually go ahead and... I need to just shoot some people here, don't I? Oh, 
if you go ahead and while blocking left click, it'll do this sort of like push forward thing, but it wastes one of your blocking shields. It's a really cool mechanic and it's well built together. I love it. <laughs> Everything in this just game this game just seems fantastically well done. Gotta keep up with my group a little bit here before they leave me behind. And I really should heal the bot who's got the thing. Come here, bot. Also, great thing about this healing in this game is... Okay, I'm healing him. Look how far away he is. It still counts it. It's not like Left 4 Dead where if you're healing somebody, they just freeze in the spot and they can't move and they can get murdered from that. You can actually just keep moving with it and it'll heal him. It's just a fantastical thing. Fantastical. Also, your melee weapons, depending on the melee weapon, some of them will be able to affect multiple people at once. So you can see there, I was able to hit like two or three of those little sons of guns with one swing. Some weapons, you won't be able to do that. Even like if you got a sword that looks exactly like mine, you might not be able to do it depending on its stats. I'm not sure if the loot is randomly generated, but it does appear to be, and there sure is eggs as eggs. Are, oh, there's a lot of variation. That dwarf just picked that po pot potion up. Hopefully he'll drink it right away because his health is hella low. Sometimes people like to save it. Actually, it's probably better off if he saves it till he goes down, technically. Because when you go down, you're, um... When you get rezzed, your health is at 50%, but it automatically drops slowly back to zero. But if you heal, it'll keep whatever your, you know, gray amount of health is at, and then boost it back the, the rest of the way back up. Shit! I thought he dropped the tome because he turned into an actual person. Alrighty. What was I saying? Right, I think I, I, I think I'd finished what I was talking about, hopefully. Those tomes are super useful, though. Oh, health pack. Yes, please. Yes, Thank you. I'm oh, no. No, 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 no. If everyone jumps down to the ground level, something can snag me and I might not. Oh, we're definitely going down. We're definitely going down. Oh! Ah! That was her. Okay. Get down here. Quick, Missy. Oh, did we miss that something already, I think? No, we didn't, not yet. There's a other thing that you get that also gives you bonus loots, um, but in return for getting it, it actually lowers your maximum health. We'll get one of those in a second. You might also- OH NO! Well, shit. I was gonna- oh, fuck, what a wonderful grenade. I was also gonna say, you know, you might also hear those clanking, talking people. That was- oh, thank god, someone else had a grenade, and they're all down. Shiza. No! No! Someone else have another grenade! Someone else have another grenade! We're not gonna lose this! Mm-mm! No! 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 Actually, I don't know how I killed that guy just swinging. Shouldn't have been able to do that. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Ha-ha! Got ya! You son of a bitch. There's a grappling gun somewhere. Or a rattling gun. No! Don't worry, is though. I'm not getting hit, so I'm assuming it's alright for now. Uh, who did we lose? We lost somebody and they dropped the tome. I'm going to pick that up because we need that XP. Yeah, that went bad. That was my bad. Whoops, dude, the landy. Um, yeah. That was a fupa and a half, wasn't it? Uh, luckily, just like Left 4 Dead, you can rescue people. They're not in closets or anything like that. They're just sitting there like, oh, hey. <laughs> they're stuck on the ground, basically, like they've been tied up. Like the rat people carried them away or something. Also, by the way, these barrels, they explode. So you can hit them and then they'll go kaboom after a few seconds. The, did you just hear that? Wow, that's a gutter runner! That was, you know, the stabby guys I don't like. Um, I'm gonna go grab that thing. Oh god, if I don't mess that up, I messed up the jump. I messed up the jump. I'm gonna die. Well, at least she marked the guy. These people are much better at that than I. They mark the damn things. And you can see them through walls. You mark stuff by pressing T if you don't know, by the way. Just jump on me. Jump on me, jump on me, jump on me. Get it! Kill it! What the fuck, dwarf?! Shit. Didn't even kill a goddamn thing. I can't remember the name of the thing that it is. It's it's over here in the corner, basically. I'll assume not. Okay, it's a grim. It's like a grimoire or something. Uh we need to make sure we grab the other tome. Shit! Shit! Yeah, okay, I thought that was something else. Yes. So there's another, by the way, someone said all tones so far. I got the one, there's another one over here. Alright, uh, right in here, actually. 
need someone else to pick it up though because I'm already carrying a tome. And you basically to get the tome you have to sacrifice your uh, healing item slot. Which is fine because you can of course every time you find a healing item just pick it up. Pick it up, heal yourself, then pick back up the tome. Yeah, I thought that dwarf was really going to help me out more than he did when, um, yeah, Captain Stabby Pants was coming at me. Really don't like that you can't, like, just block Stabby Pants, like, if you see him coming. And you saw me charging and swinging trying to get him, but I botched that terribly. I'm not even sure if you can successfully do that. Uh, by the way, you can usually fire through your buddies, too, so... It's pretty nifty, actually. I'm fine with that. It doesn't make sense, but I'm alright with it, honestly. <laughs> Okay, now we're going underground. The, by the way, the point of this mission is, like, if you didn't hear in the dialogue in the beginning, to that save the water supply. Ignorance. Speed! I like speed potions. <laughs> because something they're doing here is poisoning the water. Also, if I didn't mention earlier, when you charge your bow like this, a lot of bows have punch through, which means you'll actually be able to pierce armor like those big heavy dudes. And you'll actually be able to pierce multiple enemies as well. So if, like, you line up a shot, you can take out, like, two enemies with one. Um, I need that more than anybody. <laughs> because I always had that gray health. So you can see they're added to the gray health area with that health potion. And now I get to keep all that health. Very nifty if you've just gone down and get one of those. Don't think there's a way to actually trade health potions to other people. And currently there's no way to trade items at all to people in the game. Like the items you get at the end of missions. I'm honestly fine with that. And I hope to god they don't add anything. Because I'm afraid if they do then it'll just end up like, um... Like, oh yeah, you got Gragthar's hammer, man. I've been farming for that forever. I'll pay you this much money for Gragthar's hammer. It's like, no, fuck off. I just want to enjoy the game, god dang it. I don't want min-max loot and, like, you're hunting for this one item for 700 hours, which is something I've gotten so sick of when it comes to farming parts in Warframe. No! Oh my god. I don't think I killed him. Someone else did. It actually says on the side there. God dang it. I'm botching up. By the way, every now and again you'll hear a horn and enemies will start charging you again. Sort of like Left 4 Dead where you hear the screaming. Um, it's actually alright when you're in a group, but if you're on your own, like you're playing solo with bots, I actually wish they would change it so that there was like a, a horn below or somewhere you can find! And- No! 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 Piece of shit. I wish there was like a horn below where you could find and kill to prevent that from happening. That way you could actually take your time with the, the bots. Uh, okay, away we go. If I was if I was the fire mage, honestly, I'd probably drink the potions. Because you never know when something's going to jump on you and pounce you. And, eh, I don't know, maybe it's worth it. Because then if you get down and get back up, you're better off. Thank God for bombs. Come on, everybody get a bomb. Two of you don't have bombs. They always want a bomb. Yay, it looks like the dwarf is going back for one. Yay, good. No, he's not. Piece of flim. I found myself getting very aggressive with people, actually, in this game. I haven't actually, you know, said anything aggressive, but getting grumpy with people is the better way of saying it. Let's see if the ammo is down here, is it? Yeah, it is. There's often ammo right here. Nifty. Someone's already marked it. That's why it's blinking blue. Blah, blah. Okay, we've checked everything here. And I'm trying to remember. I think there was a third tome in this map. I just can't remember what year it is off the top of my head. Uh, I think mine as well. Did you hear that? Why the Bretonian dance? Keep your feet on the ground. Like I said, sometimes I get grumpy if you keep jumping. The NPCs do. I'm honestly fine with it. The jumping. As well as them saying stuff, I guess. Uh, sometimes you can even pin guys to the walls if you get them good with an arrow. That's not how I do it. I'll go for yourself, Mr. Captain Soldier Guy. I need to not be the only one standing up here. Just in case something grabs me. We should jump down, dude. Let's jump. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I was missing so bad there for a second. I always feel so terrible. As I should, you know. You miss like that and you should feel bad. Ah! Uh... But I do love myself some arrows. <laughs> It's so easy when they are charging at you and fun, just mm, chewing through them like that. And my bow is luckily strong enough, like, like these ones that barely are- No! That is the worst mob in this goddamn game. I hate that thing. A Packmaster. Because you can see him coming from a mile away and it's like, 
you know, if you don't kill him with your arrows, he, you're, you're dead. He's gonna grab you, like, no matter what you do, as far as I can tell. Like, I've tried meleeing at him. I've, shit, who got grabbed? Was it another pack master? Or oh, did they just go down? Shit! Okay, so that's why they are holding the potions, so once they get back up, they can pop the potion and get full health. Clever way of doing it. Pop your potion now. Pop your potion now. Prove me right. Pop your... Yay, okay. Cool. That is a good way of doing it. Oh shit, I hit that thing. I'm not gonna stand by that one. Um, it's going. Whoops. Of a yep. <laughs> flows through you. Uh, healing stuff? What kind of healing stuff? Oh, that kind. Oh, I, okay, whatever. You take it. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I've just remembered where the last home is, too, so we're good. We haven't passed it. Groovy, groovy, groovy. And you want to get all those homes. They give you a fair amount of XP, and then really it's the dice These you care the most about. Yep! 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 That's the mine. Dibs, dibs, dibs. Mm. Hey, that wasn't what I thought it was. That was a grimoire, okay. Maybe I know where it lies. Well, we got one. Oh, I missed! You can see that I blocked him and hit him. Uh, let's take the left passage. Chicka chicka! Whack! It's, it's, it's a great game. I've played a fair amount of this. I keep swinging at the dwarf, though, every now and again. Because I always think the dwarf is the bloody... So small, okay? <laughs> I mistake him for the other things. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Yep, da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. More bombs. Shiza, Shiza, Shiza. Ah, there he is! You can see that I was blocking, but still he gets me. I hate that. It's sort of alright with him because they're lunging at you. I wish you could like melee and get him. Maybe you can. But I hate the pack masters who are just like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just hop on top of you. <laughs> or I'm gonna just grab you with that big stick no matter what. I mean, you see him coming and you're literally like, block! And he still gets you. It's so stupid. If you're blocking while looking right at the son of a bitch. Uh, oh, I screwed up piping bad, but whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. This one, I can feel it. Ah. I do think one is probably the best way to go often, especially with this group. We haven't been the best in the world. And I hear stabby stabby. I love the fact that he actually does say stabby, so that's probably where I got stabby pants from, because that's what I've been calling him. I even tweeted the devs like, I hate that guy. Or, really, I dislike the Packmaster, but I couldn't remember the Stabby Pants name, so I just called him Stabby Pants. Packmaster is the one that is, I truly despise, though. Because, like, literally, it's like, if you can't get a good arrow or two off at him or time your arrows perfectly, it's like, he just gets you. It's like, son of a bitch. And then what if you're not somebody who's able to take him down and you don't have the best weapon for it? Whatever. I guess, you know, the idea is, hey, play is e easier difficulty, but... Yay! So some of those muskets and stuff that other people, muskets, whatever you want to call it, that other people have are just real powerful. You see there, I was hitting like three people with each swing. I love this. The melee in this game is just fantastic. You know, it's like interrupt everything in block mechanic is the way all block mechanics in the game should be. Okay, the dwarf's down. We need to stick together. Uh, this is, I said, the mission objective where we have to drop this and basically break it so they're not doing their alchemical stuff to keep making poison and keep poisoning the water of the town, which... Obviously, honestly, I think the water would probably be pretty poisoned anyway, considering it's apparently coming from a crypt, but whatever. There we go, one down, three more to go. Hit, hit. Let's stick together before... Oh, there's a, there's a heavy guy. And you see the heavy guys will sometimes push you back too, is like, ha ha, we're gonna get ya. But luckily, charge attacks pierce their armor pretty easy. No! Ah! God! That was just the luckiest, closest block on all of human history. No, he, and see if he pushes you back, he'll interrupt your charge attack, which is pretty nifty, honest. No! Honestly, a lot of this game seems to be about just damage avoidance, not so much like kicking out a million and one bits of damage, but avoiding taking any. We going up this way? I'd say so. Whoop. Also, something I didn't show in the inventory screen, I showed trinkets. You can get pretty nifty effects with those. You can get awesome effects with your bow. Like, I think my bow has... Like a five per, or, or ten percent chance to restore um ten health every time I kill an enemy. So I've actually um in one map you can don't have to evac the map. You can just stay there and enemies just keep coming. And I've actually gone from like half health back up to full health just by killing dozens and dozens of enemies. A lot of fun. It's a great bow. I love it. 
And then there's other, you know, bonuses on other weapons and all sorts of nonsense. Oh, no, no, but... Nine, 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 nine. This is niche. Yeah. Yeah. Thought that he was an arm. We need to get to that dwarf. We need to get to that goddamn dwarf now. Dwarf buddy! Keep shooting at the dwarf, too. Ah! In the balls. Ah! Guess I need to be faster. Make sure you actually try out weapons, by the way, when you first get them. Because you, and like, don't just be like, oh my god, this blue is fantastic, and instantly sell your whatever else you got. Because it might turn out that the blue is something you don't actually want to use because it's got something on it. Like, I had a bow once where it's charge attack, the aim down sights thing. It um, was super quick, and it didn't actually zoom in, and it auto-aimed. Which sounds awesome, you know, like you let the bolt go and it's like gonna seek out enemies, but what I found is it just ended up circling around enemies more than not. Or more times than it didn't, so. It wasn't actually good. Oh, thank god, a potion. The dwarf should... Uh, it's probably not a healing potion. The person was healing something or another. Okay, we almost got this beat. We just gotta make sure we get out of here with the dwarf still alive in the grimoire, as well as our dark mage chick. Uh... Some weapons also have like a uh, beheading bonus on them, which is really fantastic. It'll be so you can go like whoop and their heads pop off. It's great. I w the only thing I'd like this weapon to be better at is maybe just a slightly faster fire rate, which is silly to ask for. But mainly when it's zoomed in, I'd like a faster fire rate that way I could zoom and then punch through multiple enemies. And we're almost done with this mission. I think, the wow! I think this is going to be the exit coming up any second now. Wow, that guy like hissed at me. That actually spooked me a small amount. What? Why are, why are they over here? Are they looking for health or something? I guess they were. Someone's about to get stabbed. Someone's about to get stabbed. It's gonna be me. Shit! Yep, it's me! Oh, come on! See, I should have been paying more attention to where I was going and not so much just looking this way. I should have seen that group, not had my bot, I should have had my other weapons out. Are you seriously not gonna fucking res me? Oh my god. Oh my god! Fucking idiots. Oh my god. You don't abandon your group when you, this fucking stabby pants is still out there. I don't care how close we are to the exit, you just don't run away when you got one person down with a Grim War. And the guy who's resing him also has a Grim War. If I didn't, if the guy, if that dwarf didn't have a Grim War, not a Grim War, a Tome. If the guy didn't have a damn Tome, I would have been alright with that. Because then he could have, if I died, at least he could have picked up the Tome and carried on. Okay, awesome. So there you go. That is um, Warhammer Room Tide. It's a Tide of Vermin coming at you. You get to kill a whole lot of them. It's a very fun game. There you go. You can see Skaven Grimoires. Cursed bonus dice, I think, are the ones we picked up. And then Tomes Collected, we get three special dice. And we leveled up, so we got a fancy gray sword. Woo. And now here comes the roll thing that I was talking about. You see on the left there, or right, pardon, we got two uh, whites and then two greens and then three blues and then an orange. Um, the easier the difficulty, the more whites will be there before it starts upping these. Uh, higher the difficulty, the fewer whites and fewer other things. So it's awesome. Okay, let's roll. Whee! The green one's always a win. Those ones have better chance of winning. And then these are the standard ones, which are like a one in six chance of winning. Then we actually got something nifty. I think this is for the soldier memory serves yes yep for the soldier and you see blue item it's got when pushing with this weapon there's a 20 to 40 percent chance the push won't cost any stamina which basically those shields will count as your stamina and then there's this one uh, when hitting an enemy with a normal attack there's a two to seven percent chance to increase attack speed for, by 30 seconds for five seconds so that's pretty damn awesome pretty awesome and people are wanting to go back to the hub okay guys well that's that that is a uh, warhammer vermintide it's awesome I love this game. Um, it can be a bit stressful sometimes, especially.
the dwarf didn't expect you to get grabbed, even though we were both clearly staring at stabby pants. So he should have expected one of us to get grabbed and then we could kill him and not have to worry about him grabbing us at an inconvenient time. But no, no, I get grabbed and he walks away. He walks away. So damn annoying. So damn annoying. Let's, uh, let's look at the stats also and that weapon. Um, best way to do that would probably be from our inventory thing. We'll select our... By the way, you got headgear on guys too. Pretty cool stuff. I, I got the collector's edition. I actually didn't think I bought it originally, but I did. Thank God. <laughs> because I actually, once I got into the beta and started playing this game, I'm like, this is amazing! Um, uh, no, not him. Wait, no, was it him that we got the new weapon on? Yeah, it was. But you can see we already have a legendary on him, which I don't have enough purple or uh, blue stuff to unlock yet. I can melt this. That's probably what we'll end up doing. But you can see when you click between weapons, it even shows you on the right side there. The charge attack, normal attack, you scroll down, it shows you the special traits, how much blocking stamina it'll give you. It's awesome. It's This game's fantastic. And it even, you know, shows you between, like, what you have is, um, yeah. Shows you between what you have and how much it's going to give you or take away. So you can see the thing we just got is actually a, a bit slower, but it has more, tra when we do a charged attack, it's a bit slower in charged attack too, but it's got like double the damage almost. And then it can hit multiple enemies, and then it doesn't have as much knockback if you try knocking people back. And then this is usually ranged, I think, for ranged weapons. But the heroic or whatever epic one, legendary, has a bunch of traits on. It's got three traits, so I think it's usually worth it to go with those. Anyways, that is that. Thanks a bunch for watching, and I shall see you guys and gals next time. Ta-ta.